All right, everybody, welcome back to the Lantern Sports Big Ten Men's Basketball Preview Show. I'm your host, Casey Smith, and we're, today we're going to be talking about the Northwestern Wildcats. It's been a little bit of a rocky season for them so far this year. They're 14-15 and 15 on the season, one game below 500. They're 7-13 and 13 in conference play, so it hasn't exactly been smooth sailing for the Wildcats this year in conference play, losing four of their last six to close out the year. But Chris Collins, he led the troops to a 75-62 victory over Minnesota in the regular season finale. And... Now they turn their sights to the Big Ten tournament in Nebraska in the first four games. As they're, it's, that's the 12-13 game. Nebraska, a tough opponent coming off some of the best basketball that's played of the season, ending the game on a three-game three, three game winning streak. Some key stats that have factored into uh, Northwestern's success to this point. They have the sixth best offensive turnover percentage. You may be asking yourself, what does that mean? That means they take care of the basketball. They don't turn it over a ton. They turn it over the sixth least uh, percent amount of times of possessions. So if they're able to hold on to the basketball and be able to go score it, that's more opportunities for them. If they're dishing it away, that's more, less opportunities for them and more opportunities for the opposition to go and get a bucket themselves. And they've lived and died by the three. They've made 8.3 three-pointers per game this season, which is fourth in the Big Ten. So guys like Boo Booey and Chase Aldiz are able to step out and really knock down some shots from deep. And on the contrary, 36% of opponents' threes have gone in. So guys like Alonzo Verge for Nebraska, they're able to really step out and um, knock down some shots, taking advantage of Nebraska or Northwestern's, excuse me, uh, worst opponent three-point percentage in the in the Big Ten. One key player for Northwestern, though, that's going to be the difference in this game is Pete Nance, the six-foot-ten forward right there in the middle. He's averaging 14.7 points per game, and he's reached double figures in all but four games this season. So he is a scoring machine down low, presents a matchup nightmare for uh, Nebraska. So um, he's not just a post player, though. He's able to step out, make some mid-range shots, and even step beyond the arc and knock down 44.9% of his three-pointers this season, which, I mean, you got to take it with a grain of salt because he only has 89 attempts on the year, but he's made 40 of them. That's 44.9% for our uh, mathematicians at home. He is really able to be a versatile player for uh, Northwestern's offense, and they really take advantage. When he records a double-double, he's averaging six rebounds per game, but when he has a double-double, he has the double-digit points, double-digit rebounds. Nebraska, Northwestern, excuse me, is four and one on the season. Um, so he's gonna be a real difference maker, especially in this first four game on Wednesday against Nebraska. Um, we'll see how it plays out for him. Until next time, I'm Casey Smith with the Lantern Sports Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament Preview. Until next time, we'll see you. Take care.